what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i am trying out all new products except for one but all new products in this video to create this look right here they're either brand new or they're recently launched and i haven't tried them so i try them out for you guys in this video so i hope you guys do enjoy it let me know if you do down below and um yeah let's just jump into it all right, so we're going to start with the eyes as I usually do and I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I've used this palette once now, um, maybe twice, but I only used maybe three of the matte shades so I didn't really play around with it. But this is the palette, it's so beautiful. Unfortunately, mine cracked one of the shadows cracked as you can see but it's still usable all of the colors look beautiful and i really actually want to use that cracked shade but um we'll see how it goes i have no look in mind it's a very warm very typical <laughs> brown focus soft glam as it's named palette so um it's gonna be neutral if you're not into neutrals you don't have to stick around for the eye portion, but I have a bunch of, well, 99% of this video is going to be brand new products that I've never tried before. So I hope you guys like it anyway. So I'm going to um, just jump into it and see what I come up with. I'm going to go in with Orange Soda and Burnt Orange, which both these shades I love, I've used before. Um, none of these shades in the palette are brand new, I don't believe. Okay, so I'm going into Rustic with a smaller brush and I really just want to deepen my crease. So I'm going to repeat this step over and over again until it's really nice and deep and to what I want it to look like. This is what we have so far. It's not crazy warm yet. It's a little on the neutral slash cool side. Um, but I really want to round out my crease. So I'm not taking it out onto this area. I'm just keeping it to my eye shape. So I'm really just going in and deepening the crease as much as I can. Take a little of um, Sienna, which is much warmer and a little on the red side. And I'm just going to repeat that step. So I'm just going to go over Rustic and just see if it will deepen a little bit more. And I'm just going to take that fluffy brush we used for the first shades and just blend out those edges and trying to keep it quite close in. Okay, so now that we have that base down, I'm going to attempt to pick up this crack shade that I have and it's called Bronze. And I'm just going to use it with a flat brush. I'm actually going to spray my brush with a little fit, bit of Fix Plus. So it just doesn't fall everywhere. Um, I'm just mixing it on the back of my hand because this pigment is crushed. I'm just trying to feather out those edges so there's no harsh line and it kind of seamlessly blends into the crease. So I'm just going to keep patting until I'm happy with it. Alright, so we're going to leave the eyes for now and come back to them so we can do the lower lash line and lashes and all that jazz. But these are the eyes for now and I'm going to move on to the face and I'm probably most excited about this product because I've seen everybody rave about it and I haven't tried it yet. So this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is their first um, almost makeup product and I love Tatcha. So this is what it looks like. It's this really light peachy pink color really really fair and it's a solid situation and um we're just going to see what it's about but it says that it's a filter finish protective primer it's an invisible layer of silk instantly filters away imperfections and impurities for um alluring skin all day and over time i've picked up about that much and i'm just gonna see 
it smells like normal Tata products, which I adore. I love their products so much. Very luxurious, very bougie, but... Okay. It feels very, um... Not thick, but really dense and like a really nice moisturizer. That's what it feels like. The only thing that's not new in this um, video is the foundation because any of the new foundations I have that I haven't tried yet, they're far too dark for me. I'm super, super pale at the moment. Nothing matches me. They look crazy. So I'm just going to go with what I have in the lightest shade. And this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC35, but it's also a tad too dark for me, like a tad. So I'm going to mix it with my NC20. Actually, before I go in with my foundation, which I already put at the back of my hand, I'm actually going to try these. These are the Hourglass Vanish Stick, like highlighting sticks. So you guys know I adore their foundation, which is in the same kind of packaging. Um, they do some amazing base products, but these are highlighting sticks and there's five in total. We're just going to look at the shades and see which one we're going to use. I'm going to put it underneath my foundation. So I think I'm going to go in with gold flash and because this is like a liquid, it's a stick. Ooh. Ooh. Cut it out. That um, undertone is so nice. So nice. Okay. So I'm going to do it on my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose for now and see what that's like. This for the summertime where you're not wanting to do a lot of base, this would be so good. It blends really nicely and I'm using a dual fiber brush. It's really creamy. I think I'm gonna like that the more I use it for sure all right I'm gonna go in with my foundation I've been using a duo fiber brush recently and I really really like it for concealer um I've yet to try this this is the revolution Makeup Revolution Concealer. This is said to be similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to try it out. It's called the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. I'm using the shade C4. Hopefully um, this is a good shade for me. But again, a wand is similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. Of course, it's smaller. But um, let's have a look. Definitely feels and applies very similar. Let me add a little C5 on top because this lo looks a little pink on me. Yeah, I think that's better. C5. Definitely a lot of product on the wand. Blends really nicely. I mean, it's definitely full coverage. It definitely brightened my under eyes. I'm not sure on the shade. It looks a little pink to me. Um, definitely not Tarte Shape Tape, but I think I'd have to try it a couple more times just to be sure. But it blends really nicely. It doesn't look crazy. Um, it's not creasing. I think I need to try it a couple more times though. For powder, I'm going to be using the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Apparently this is like a huge percentage of water. Like most of it is made out of water, which really confuses me. Like it's powder, I'm so confused. 
I like the little um, situation. Like, I like that. That's really good for traveling. So it's there. I'm just gonna dust it on my face and see how we do. I'm using a big Bobbi Brown brush. What? What? I feel like I'm applying wet, like wetness on my face. Like it feels, what? It feels like water. What? Is my makeup okay? That is the strangest thing of life. What? It literally feels like this is soaked in water. What? That is the strangest feeling. Wow, that is probably, I was not expecting that. It's probably the most interesting product I've ever tried. So Too Faced came out with a bunch of bronzers. Um, I believe these are just repackaged and reformulated. So these are the four that they came out with. I'm gonna pick the shade I would be, which is probably milk chocolate or chocolate. I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna go in with the shade chocolate and see what it's like on my skin. I'm pretty pale, so. I'm using a NARS brush. I've been using this one recently for my bronzer. Ooh, buttery. Wow. That is pigmented. Smells like chocolate. Blends like a dream. I do not remember this bronzer being this smooth. Wow, that is nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. I really like that. You can still see the glow from the Hourglass Vanish, Vanish Stick. Highlighting stick. Pretty, right? I want to do a little blush and this is the new one from Benefit Cosmetics. It's called Gold Rush. And it has a beautiful peachy undertone, but it has like this gold film on top, which definitely comes off when you blend it in. So I'm just going to take that off as much as possible so I can get to the peachy situation. I'm using another NARS brush, which I adore for blush. pretty. I definitely still have a bit of that gold speck going on but it's a beautiful peach. You can see that for sure. I really like Benefit powders, all their blushes and of course Hula bronzer. This bit is going to be fun to me. These are six of the new, well, NARS came out with six highlighters um, and I'm really, really, really excited. They look absolutely sunny. I swatched them all. They are just creamy and buttery and beautiful and oh, and they're just gorgeous. I love NARS products. So, so I've chosen to go with Fort de France, which is a beautiful, like it's a, it's a champagne, but really light champagne. It doesn't have a crazy gold undertone. It's really light, so I think for my lighter complexion today, I think it's gonna work well. And of course, I'm gonna use my Morphe M510 brush, yes, which I've used for highlight for the longest time. Let's see how this goes. It looks beautiful on the skin. I'm going to see what it's like to bake with this water powder. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's so bizarre. I'm guessing this is this would be amazing for dry skin because some people complain about um, their skin looking drier um, once they apply powder. So this might be one to look into, guys. I'm gonna finish up the eyes by using burnt orange and orange soda on the lower lash line first. 
And then I'm going to go in with Rustic. Okay, I'm just going to dust away this powder and see what we're left with. I'm going to spritz my face with some Fix Plus. Against my will, I'm going to be using a different lip liner. <laughs> I'm going to be using the uh, Makeup Revolution Val lip liner. This is pretty new, I believe, in their collection. It's definitely really creamy. I personally prefer a hardy pencil, but... And then these two lipsticks from the Too Faced Natural collection, I really wanted to try. So I'm going to try Nip Slip, which is a darker nude, and then Send Nudes, which is a lighter nude. So I'm going to put Nip Slip on the outer edge of the lip and see how we get on with that. They're really moisturizing, like a satin finish. Um, they're definitely not matte. very natural and moisturizing and smell like chocolate and then I'm going to go in with Send Nudes in the center And then Laura Geller came out with a bunch of beautiful glosses. I've tried them before and I'm obsessed. Uh, these two are my favorite. So, but I wanted to show you guys, oh, focus. I wanted to show you guys all the shades. So pretty. So I think I'm gonna go in with a peach. This one is called Gilded Honey. Oh, my favorite highlight from them. So I'm just gonna put this right on top. It's so beautiful. It's creamy, it's got specks in it, but you don't feel any of them. Um, oh, it's so nice. The formula of these are just unreal. All right, so that is it for all the new products. I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So I just popped on some lashes. I'll leave the ones that I'm wearing down below. But this is the look. What do you guys think? The lip is a little darker. I just added a little more of that brown and then topped it off with a gloss again. But um, do you like it? Let me know down below. If you guys like these kind of videos where I test out all new products in one video, let me know. I have a bunch um, more products that I haven't tried yet. So I'd love to do more for you guys if you enjoyed it. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll leave a I'll list all the products in the description box. Please subscribe. I will love you forever. And um, check out my social media at the end of this video. Everything is the Nina V. But go follow me on Instagram if you want to. But hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, I'll love you and I'll leave you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.